Hey gang, Tony here. I'm drinking a little bit of uh, Midnight Fuggle. This is from Nimble Hill. It's not a pumpkin ale, um, but I was getting a little tired with the pumpkin ales for a bit there, so I wanted to try some other stuff. This is a decent beer. Um, not the best, but I think it was a little overcarbonated or something too, I don't know. So today I have a couple of unboxings for you. I'm going to do them in separate videos, so keep watching my channel if you want to see everything. The first is a tea villain. Oh, it's a tea villain bag. I occasionally will get a shirt from tea villain because they're cheap and awesome designs very often. 11 bucks and then $3 shipping, so it's a $14 shirt. And frankly, compared to a lot of the other horror shirts out there, they're getting pricey. Now, I don't want to say anything. I'm not, I'm not saying that in necessarily a bad way because they're amazing companies and I love all these other companies I'm wearing shirts from well this is from full moon but I just can't afford it sometimes so unfortunately I'm not going to always be able to buy the stuff a little goodie bag came with this but I'm gonna show you the shirt first I actually got it on a brown you get to choose the color I got it on brown because I have like all black shirts so I, I kinda like to vary that when I can and there he is, the immortal Vincent Price. I really dug this design. It says it's officially licensed, which I thought was cool. And the colors are just outstanding. The colors are very much like the vintage Halloween colors you see on those old masks, which I think is partly why I was digging this, sh this shirt, but also because I don't have any Vincent Price shirts. I love Vincent Price. So that was kind of the perfect choice because it's a little different than a lot of the shirts I already have colors are awesome and it was cheap can't beat that you know love it really digging this I got a large it looks like uh, it should be eh, it looks a little bigger than my other shirts actually this is maybe gonna run a little large on me they're actually branded T villain on their shirts which is pretty neat too so, I'm excited. I like it. I like it a lot. We also got a little goodie bag, though. And there's something... Sh you hear that? Oh, I don't know if you guys hear in the background. I actually have some Halloween records playing on the record player for some ambiance. You like the ambiance? Oh, God. I'm going to start losing it. All right. Let's see what we got in here. We have... Uh, this looks like a sticker. T-Villain sticker. Think what you will, Blackbird. I'll be here long after thee's gone. Thy course and died thy death. Ooh, I like it. That is really cool. Booyah. Then we got our T-Villain card. You should definitely check these guys out. I've gotten shirts from them a few times now. And I'm always pretty impressed. Can't Really can't beat the prices, to be honest. Uh, T-Villain Seeds of Chaos. You must sow the seed before you can reap. So we have some seeds, which is really interesting. They are seeds of chaos. That, that's pretty freaking awesome. I, I don't, let's see what this says here. I don't know what kind of seeds they are. Sow these seeds of chaos once the bodies of your slain enemies have completely defrosted. Plant in full sun so they may so that all may fear the evil lurking deep within your garden. Do not forget to water with the tears of the young, for they are less briny. <laughs> it says varieties available. Seeds of nightshade, seeds of insanity, seeds of a broken heart, and uh you must so so I guess these are I don't know if Seeds of Chaos, I guess Seeds of Chaos is its own particular thing. And I don't know what will grow. That's really cool. I don't know if I should save them for the spring, though. I don't want to... Maybe I'll, I'll test them indoors. I'll see if I can get them to grow. Very cool. All right. Thank you for watching. I will have another video coming right up after this. Breathe deep of the night. 
if you will. See you soon.